What's up everybody, Bentley Michaels here with another Logic Pro tutorial. The first of 2016. If that was in 3D, I would have come right at you. I would pick your nose for you over the internet. Ugh, gross. Way to start out 2016. All right, I'm here to talk about Kylo Ren as the title suggest kylo ren uh, the billion dollar man oh maybe it's two billion at this point i'm not sure but star wars is kicking everybody's ass at the box office for like a month straight and kylo ren has an awesome voice as a sound guy i was very excited to like what's gonna sound like you know because in the trailer they kind of showed it you know uh, very cagey because then you know you've got a hologram giant guy who, as you know, he's got a very deep sort of scary voice. And then there's uh, Kylo Ren's voice. <laughs> no, that's like weird Gandalf. That's like tired, angry Gandalf. You, Kylo Ren, you are annoying me. Um, but, you know, Vader is so iconic. He's always... <laughs> and then he's talking over the breathing thing. And I can't do that, you know, James Earl Jones. Uh, so uh, such a cool sound design element. Now... I wasn't disappointed because Kylo Ren's voice, you know, he's, uh, that's Vader's grandson. And, um, I wonder if you watch footage on Vader. He's like, I need a cool helmet voice. Like grandpa had, like, I don't want to make it bad, but you know, he's sort of got this, this thing that sort of like angles together. And that's, you know, it's, it's very cool. You also have to take into account Adam driver's voice. Now this is something I didn't do with this tutorial. It's not an impressions tutorial. Um, you know, uh, because Adam Driver, you know, if you saw him on the SNL thing, he sounded like this. You get so caught up in restoring the galaxy to its rightful state that you miss what's going on behind the scenes. I'm looking forward to having some real talk with some real folks. Now, as you heard, he kind of has a deep voice, but for me, he's actually up a little bit from my normal talking voice. You know, he has sort of a voice that's more like right in here. He's very succinct when he talks. Why are those damn dogs barking upstairs? You know, I'm not going to really get into that. I just recorded my voice saying some lines from the movie and then improving a bunch of stuff. And we're just sort of going to tweak it. Now, another important thing with this video is this is my first pass at it. What I want you folks to do, um, go into the YouTube comment section and don't say, hey, Bentley, you're a dickhead. Don't do that. I mean, you can, I guess, but I prefer you didn't. Uh, put a link to your video of you, like your, and like, let's sort of reverse engineer this son of a bitch because then, then the follow-up video to this, I will work on the impression more and then I will do it, you know, we'll, we'll figure out the best way to melt this pot together of voices and fuck it, and then we'll have the ultimate Kylo Ren voice. We're gonna do it, internet, I guarantee. All right, you sons of bitches, let's go on over to Logicville. Stuck. And welcome to Logicville, everybody. All right, so this is my Kylo Ren session that I sort of set up. I have some uh, lines right here near the beginning. Um, all of these are sort of uh, lines from the movie. Then I just started sort of improv because, uh, you know, the lines I found online, it's not like he's soliloquizing. He's sort of a understated performance, you know, uh, as far as his, you know, uh, his dialogue and that sort of stuff. So I just sort of went off here. But let's hear it uh, as it is now. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You know what I've come for. Don't fight it. You know you can't. Together, we will destroy the Resistance in The Last Jedi. Okay, so um, I won't make you, you will hear plenty of all this stuff as we go through here, but now I sort of have a deep voice anyway. However, the first thing that I noticed about his uh, uh, voice, the Kylo Ren, is that, you know, it definitely seemed pitch shift. So let's have a little pitch shifter here. Uh, I don't want to do too much because then otherwise, you know, then I start to sound like, you know, your classic Satan sort of uh you know, like in uh, um, South Park or something like that. Hey, Saddam. So let's turn on this pitch shifter here. We just got a negative two plus two. I've got on speech. I got an 80% mix on it. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? So you can hear it right there. 
And the reason that I only do 80% mix is that it leaves some of my original voice in there. You know, it leaves some of the, because if you go up all the way, then it's just, don't be afraid. I feel it too. Then it's just, you know, it's just the deep voice. So I leave about 80%. Uh, that's what I felt sounded good to me. Um, so then the next thing I sort of did, and by sort of, I mean, I actually did, is a, a clip distortion. Uh, um, so we're going to hit play again. You know what I've come for. Don't fight it. You know you can't. Now, it's taken out a lot of the bass Together, in my voice. We will destroy the resistance in the last Jedi. But it gives it that it gives it that sort of distorted feel. I've got my drive here at 155. I got it at 5000 hertz. We got this right in the middle there at 0. I've got my crop filter all the way up at 20. This is playing uh, an 80% part at 11900 hertz. High shelving frequency as you can see here, and then the gain. I played with this probably the longest. I messed around with this. It doesn't sound good right now. So if you're doing this along with me, trust me, just don't mess around too much with it. Just set it right here. And then as we keep going, we're gonna bring back the bass. We're gonna bring back everything. So this is what we've got going on right now. Now, next thing is a noise gate because with this distortion and that sort of stuff, you're going to have to, you know, there's going to be, you know, hiss in between, um, uh, in between like your stuff. So you want to cut it out. Um, cut it out. <laughs> I can't wait for Full House to come back, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, you can get rid of some of it in the channel EQ also because when you're, uh, we're going to be using a multipressor and a compressor later on, as, as you'll see, it's going to take when you, even if you record in like the quietest of rooms, there's always going to be that little like room sound. And if you compress something super, 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 you know, you're going to get room tone. And then that's been being been affected by this uh, clip distortion here. So uh, we want, you know, a noise gate in between as much as possible. So we're going to turn this bad boy on. And now that you've sort of seen the numbers, this is where I sort of found it, it kind of comes set pretty much almost exactly like this. I think I may have changed a couple of things uh, just, you know, uh, barely, but I think it pretty much comes like this. But I named everything as you can sell, uh, tell uh, a Kylo setting. So I always had it. So now, in between. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. I feel and it, it cuts too. it off nice you know what and I've tight. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is a channel EQ. I'm going to save that one for later because I actually put it, uh, I actually did it after I did a, a bunch of the other stuff here. Um, but it just happened to sort of, I just started clicking on stuff that I wanted and then, you know, I got rid of some uh, some ideas that didn't work out and then it kind of just ended up being in, in this order. The next actually I'd like to do uh, for you guys here uh, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll switch them. No, okay. Um, is, the, is the ensemble. Uh, uh, this, you know, um, you could use a chorus thing, but I kind of like this more. Um, you know, it sort of does a similar thing. I've got it on three voices here, 20%, 13%, 20%. Once again, I messed around with these for a while. Now this is going to be a subtle thing. It's at 16%. These are all the numbers here. Boom, boom, boom. Spread. Check it all out. Um, I'm going to take this off and... Once again, I played with a lot of these things. And then once I sort of, you know, got, I opened them all back up and kind of played around with them. And this is the settings that I found to be the best uh, right now. It's not exactly like the movie yet, which is why we're doing this. We're going to get a dialogue going here. So let's hear it with the ensemble now. It gives it a little bit of that phase. Uh, you know, it sort of adds some space in between the semitones and that sort of thing of the, uh, of the pitch shifter here. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. It's very subtle. I feel it too. But you kind of hear that little wavy. You know what I've come for. Don't fight it. You know you can't. Together, we will destroy the resistance in The Last Jedi. I 
just don't understand why Uncle Luke had to, you know, have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up taking on Emperor Palpatine, getting electrocuted. So, as you can tell, it gives it a little bit more, a little bit more flavor, a little bit more sassy this, okay? Now, another big thing that I noticed with Kylo Ren's voice uh, is that there's almost like this... Um, the, this sort of like buzziness to it, you know, I don't know how to put it. Um, so I thought a bit crusher. All right. Now this thing, you know, you can make great eight bit things. Let's check it out right here. Uh, this is on the default. I forgot to save this one as Kylo cause I've, I'm still not quite sure on this, this one, but I've got it at four 24 bit. Because if you go lower in 24-bit, then it starts to really, you know, we're not making, you know, 8-bit chiptune music here. We want a high resolution, but we want it now at the 3 right here and in the middle with the mode. If you do it at 2, you don't really notice it. So let's hear it. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You know what I've come for. Don't fight it. You know you can't. Together, we will destroy the resistance in the last Jedi. And it gives it just that little bit more of like that chainsaw, that buzz that you kind of hear in Kylo Ren's voice and that sort of thing. It also really sort of heightens, you know, the S's and also some of the higher frequencies and that sort of thing. So, which is why you'll notice uh, I didn't use a normal compressor. Uh, initially, I used a multipress and then I also have my channel EQ, but then I also have another channel EQ going on over here. Now, before we get to these kind of two final elements here, I'm going to put, uh, you know, we need a space designer. So... We're running out of room here. Um, we're going to put this over here. Hopefully you uh, folks have uh, seen what you need to with the ensemble, with the bit crusher. Now we're going to this. I use the small space. Um, and I believe it's just in small spaces. Is it in rooms or is it in halls? <laughs> Indoor space is small. Aha! There we go. There's the chain of command. Um, so, you know, go down to three to small spaces, go down to six in indoor spaces, fourth one down, small space. Now, I have the dryness up all the way because it gives otherwise. Uh, let's hear it, okay? So let's go into this long part. I just don't understand why Uncle Luke had to, you know, have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up. See, it sounds like he's in the back. And then he has to burn him. I mean, I know that's how Jedi like to go. Now if we take him all the way up. Yeah, get this. 15-year-old me flies to the planet. I start digging through grave sites. Boom, I find the helmet. It's just so digging through grave sites. Boom, I find the helmet. It's just so not that bad, but space travel, it's, it's not good on slightly burned, decaying carcasses. It, Okay, so now let's set this locator here so it'll repeat if... So it's just small, just subtle. And I think I actually even had it down on 40 initially. Um, but play with it as you like. Maybe the thing, and I'll have to play with it more, it, it might be adding more reverb and then somehow controlling it. Uh, uh, that, that could be interesting. Actually, I'm going to bump it up just a little bit there. Okay, so now we've got our reverb going. So let's go to the channel EQ, okay? This is a, uh, I've been taking out a lot of the bass because we, we, we did the true? pitch shifter, You're but we don't want it to like echo and rebound, okay? Now, right in here, 138, I boosted it you know by 10. Um, that's sort of your baritone tones you know over in can't. here. These are sort of your uh, Together, tenor tones. The and then I the took out Jedi. a lot of this high frequency stuff to get rid I of just don't understand why Uncle some Luke of that buzz. Had to, you know, have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up now, on Emperor Palpatine. Also, if you listen to the, the Kylo Ren stuff, it almost sounds, it's like the crispest muddiness 
of a vocal performance. You know, it's not quite like burn where, you know, it, but it's like this crisp where it sounds like it's wrapped in like a nice warm blanket or something like that. So that's why it may sound weird now, but once we add in this multipressor, the other compressor, add limiter and channel, the other channel EQ, we're getting pretty close. So I've been waiting for this for. I just don't understand. This sort of gives. I've got a negative five over here. Have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up taking here on the settings. Palpatine, getting electrocuted, and then he has to burn him. I mean, I know that's how Jedi's like to go out and all that sort of stuff, but that. then get this: fifteen-year-old me flies to the planet. I start digging through grave sites. Boom! It sounds more like a radio or walkie-talkie kind of there. Travel, it's it's not good. But this sort of, it's starting to get that sort of behind the mask feel. Okay. Now, multipressor is a great tool. It's one of my favorite things to know how to do. Um, yeah, one of my favorite things to know how to do. It's one of my favorite tools because not only are you, are you compressing the audio, but you can, you know, it's like a, it's a channel EQ compressor essentially, which is, which is awesome. So a big thing, the compression threshold is what you want to figure out like when you're doing this. I've been waiting for this for You want to start taking time. this thing down right here. Okay. Uh, now, I took it down a lot. Don't be a as you can see, negative 57. But you want it to start like sort of reading down here. So when, before this, you want to take your compressor threshold and you want to take it down, 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 down. And then once it starts bumping in here, I usually let it, depending on how loud the sounds and the frequencies and that sort of stuff are, with bass and that sort of stuff, especially if it's like a rock song or something, or, or you know, here we're, there's a lot of bass in this. So it's like, this is where I'm going to make up for getting rid of it in here because we've gotten rid of it, but now I'm going to take what's sort of left of it and I'm going to compress it and bring it up so it's super controlled and super tight. Um, and then, you know, the same thing with here, negative 38, negative 34. Now here are your baritone tones and he, you know, he has a very warm voice, you know, and, and, you know, I've once again, took out these high frequencies, uh, uh, over here, the 20 K, the 10 K and even dropped down five K, uh, um, because I a, want to get rid of some of that eight bit hiss, but also when you listen to the clip, you know, while there is that sort of robotic sound, it's not hissing or AM radio sounding. So. Let's get I've this been going. Waiting for this for a long time. Now, is it true? You're just a scavenger. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You hear it? You know what I've come for. Don't fight it. You know you can't. So we've Together, got fourteen five, six five, three five, one five, negative forty, negative thirty four, negative thirty eight five, negative fifty seven. I've got it on zero. You know, Auto gain is off. A problem with Grandpa that he ends up taking on Emperor Palpatine, getting electrocuted, and then he has to burn him. Now yeah, we're that's how Jedi's like enhancing a lot of those things, and then you make then it up here. So whatever you take away here. Me. You try to make planet. it up here. You don't have to make all of it up here, sites. Boom. but I you're setting a ceiling for stuff. It's not that bad, but space travel, it's... So you're bringing, it's not good. you're bringing up, you're bringing out with this warmth, this channel EQ, who, or this, you know, the, or this multipressor rather. Okay, so now, the second channel EQ over here on the output track. Um, I did it this way. So all of this, all of these things, will send to the output track. Now this is EQing everything that I've, you know, all this other garbage beneath this, boom, 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 all this stuff is now being EQed with this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. And it takes out it too. the hiss. You know I got rid of come for. more of this. Don't fight it. But you, you still get that chainsaw chance. thing of the eight bit. But now, together we will destroy the resistance in the see, last Jedi. The hiss is gone. You want to sort of bring up this I sort of mid tone, bare tone Uncle stuff. Luke I'm taking it over you about like you know, from this Grandpa, one it's 380. This one I'm on doing Emperor it 200. Palpatine, so it's sort of a nice warmth unit, sound in between all of them. Him. I mean, I know that's how Jedi's like to go out and all that sort of stuff. But that. then get this, 15 year old me. And I just sort of played with the, the master game here. Uh, 
if it doesn't sound right to you, you don't have to do it this way. The important part is what sounds right to you and what you think sounds closest to the actual thing that's in the movie. So, you know, I played with the master game and this is just kind of where I found it worked the best. You can turn the analyzer on. You can see I've been waiting for this for a long time. all this stuff. Is it true? All this You're over here initially. This is what's Don't going on. And then it all comes over to here. And it's a little I bit more uniform too. because of this. You can see that you this because of I've these. This for. part is more uniformed. Don't and these ones it. aren't being boosted as much. So you it's still more comparable to this. Together, we will destroy the resistance in the last Jedi. Okay. Now, a compressor over here. This is going to take everything we did and squash it together. Now I have it negative four. I did a... VC, VCA smashed. You go down to here, and I believe you do uh, compressor by type. And I did this. And it was like down to negative 40 and that sort of stuff. So I kind of, you know, I wanted it to take everything that I've done here and smash it all together because it takes the peaks, it takes the valleys, and it makes it a dag wood sandwich. And if you don't get the reference, you're not as old as I am. So. We're going to take a listen to this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? It brings You're everything just a scavenger? together. Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You it's know not, what I've come for. You know, for. a good mix, a good recording at great it. levels. You know you can't. A compressor isn't there to be your volume control. Together, a compressor is there to the really... The uh, bring stuff together. So having a good solid recording beforehand where you're not clipping, you're not distorting, you're you know leaving yourself headroom to, to compress, that is super important. And then not riding it super hard with the multipressor. It's all about giving your play, you know, giving yourself a place to go when it's time to finally compress and like make up a, a little bit of volume and, you know, doing a good mix beforehand. Um, this is obviously just a single vocal track, uh, but you know, you, it still sort of applies because we're adding so many different effects to it. See what we got. We got three, six, eight different effects to it. And then, you know, we've got another channel EQ and then a compressor going on over here. So Let's get to the song part. I just don't understand why Uncle Luke gives a little to, bit more clarity because you know, it's compressing everything with together. Grandpa, that he ends up taking on Imper Now the final thing I did was an ad limiter. So we've got a little bit extra on the input. We got 5.8. We got a negative one. I used the add density feature on here. Factory add density, and then I made it work for me. So I've been waiting for this, this is sort of like another uh, compressor type of thing because over here, you're going to see this is what it's given. And then I'm trying to, it, it won't let it go above negative one. So it's going to push it up to negative one as much as possible. Um, I, I, the gain is where it's at and that sort of stuff without making distort and sort of bringing back some of those features that we didn't want. Because while Kylo Ren's voice is sort of distorted and that sort of thing, it's not like, you know, breaking and that, it, you know, it's a warm, like I said, it's like a warm fire of distortion. Whereas Bane, you know, where's, uh, it is a little bit, you know, Ben is a, is a bit more, you know, it's like he's talking into like a, a Dixie cup, but it's still like a little more crackly, you know, this is just like a nice warmth. So this is going to sort of, once again, similar to the compressor, it's going to elevate everything that the compressor is doing. I've been waiting for this for Let's a get to long, the long time. Area. Together, we will destroy the resistance in the last And I'm Jedi. sort of talking louder here as well, so. I just don't understand why Uncle Luke had to, you know, have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up taking on Emperor Palpatine, and it's still getting a little electrocuted, and then he has to burn him. For me. Then again, I, mean, I know kind that's of how Jedi's like to go out and all that sort of stuff, but... but you can see that it's get really this working. 15 it's year old me and it's bringing it up flies here, but to it's the planet. even. I start digging through grave sites. Boom. I find the helmet. It's not that bad, but space travel, it's... It's not good on slightly burned, decaying carcasses. It just, it warped it. I was just sitting in my quarters, reaping people out. And there it is, folks. So, in reverse order, we've got the ad limiter. Here's your settings. Plus one, five, eight, negative one. Out of here. Final compressor. We got a five to six to one, five millisecond, 51. Negative 20.5, zero, negative four, with my limiter on. 
Now, these numbers are probably going to be different for you unless you exactly record at the same level I did. But this is a great jumping off point, and then you can start sort of mixing and matching. So the final right here, noted as Kylo 2. All of this. Okay. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. We got the space designer. We've got this multipress, which is a fantastic tool. Our bit crusher. Our channel EQ. Our ensemble. Our noise gate to make sure nothing escapes us. Our clip distorter. And our pitch shifter. Finally, this is what it sounds like. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Is it true? You're just a scavenger? Don't be afraid. I feel it too. You know what I've come for. Be careful with the noise Don't gate. fight it. Because sometimes you if you do too you much, can't. it'll clip off the end of sentences. Together, we will destroy the resistance in The Last Jedi. I just don't understand why Uncle Luke had to, you know, have such a problem with Grandpa that he ends up taking on Emperor Palpatine, getting electrocuted, and then he has to burn him. I mean, I know that's how Jedi's like to go out and all when that sort do, of stuff. Like, but when he said burn him, like then there's that nice this chainsaw that effect old me that I hear. Flies to the planet. I start digging through grave sites. Boom, I find the helmet. It's not that bad, but space travel, it's... It's not good on slightly burned, decaying carcasses. It just, it warped it. I was just sitting in my quarters, creeping people out. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That is my version of the Kylo Ren voice. My initial thoughts, and what I'm going to actually play around with, and when you guys make your own video and link me down in the comment section, excuse me, I shouldn't have drank a Coke before this. Think of using a de -esser. That is one thing that I think might take out some of the hiss and that sort of thing. So uh, uh, pop that on. See what it does. I'm going to mess around with it, actually. But I got to take off. Thank you very much for joining me in Logicville. And now let's go back to that idiot on the screen. And there you have it, folks. That guy just talks and talks and talks. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give it the old thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, how dare you? If you're going to be a jerk in the comment section, I'll probably delete you. So, I mean, you can, you know, but... I wouldn't. Um, and, and if you're a person that feels that they need to stick up for me or something like that, that's cool. But I'll just delete you both. How about that? Equal deleting. I hereby declare this day equal deleting day from YouTube. So please leave a nice comment. Leave a helpful comment. Leave a link to your video. Give it a subscribe. Give it a like. And uh, let's figure this Kylo Ren thing out, my babies. <laughs> All right. I'm done here. I need to start over is what I need to do. Where's the... Thank <laughs> you.